Welcome back everyone to episode 11 of Let's Play Atlantic Fleet Battle of the Kit. Battle of the Atlantic Mode as Germany. So at the tail end of the end of the last episode, we had this encounter, but we didn't really have time to squeeze it into that video, so here we go. What are our objectives? Basically probably just to sink the Cumberland and maybe one or two com um, freighters and then get out of there because with two submarines we can't it's very unlikely we'll be, we will be able to sink all the destroyers and the Cumberland at the same time. Another alternative is, depending on how we're placed here, maybe we can sink just the two destroyers and then try to get the... Oh, nope. It's going to be... Certainly is not going to be both of our submarines being active. These guys are either moving... They're probably moving this way, which means only the U-39 will be able to get off some shots on the Vanity and the Gurkha. The U-40 is just going to be lost, unfortunately. Yep, they're coming at us, so... What we're going to do is hard to port, flank speed, and the big question is going to be, which direction are they moving? Actually, they're almost parallel with us already, so this is, like, terrible. <laughs> okay, so nothing for the first turn. We need to scout out what they're doing. And this is just really sad. We can try to flank speed and maybe catch up with the Cumberland a little bit, but it's very unlikely to happen. We essentially just want to see which direction they're moving, and from there we can reevaluate. They're mainly moving straight, but they're moving slightly to the left, which is actually good for us. So hard to port again. Flank speed. Uh, we're still not close enough to even really be able to hit the vanity, but let's keep targeting her and end the turn. Okay, same thing with the Cumberland, we're just going to move and... They keep turning to the left, that could work out for us. Yeah, the, actually this is becoming more and more feasible. <laughs> we'll keep spinning in circles here, trying to line up with the vanity. And I think we actually fire this turn at the Cumberland. It's a heck of a shot from here. And we don't know exactly which way they're going to turn, so let's not do it. Let's wait. They are moving in the same direction still. That's good. That's good news for us. Can we finally actually whipped around in the direction we want to go? That's fantastic. Hold off on firing torpedoes. <laughs> and do we engage? Is this it? Do we fire? I think we do. I doubt we're going to have a better shot than this. So they recommend 10.8. Assuming they keep turning into us, we're going to do something else. Like maybe, just in case they, we're going to wait one turn, but just in case they turn, do 10.2. Uh, probably 11.2. Ah, that looks bad. 10.2, 10.8, 11 11.4, let's go 11.5 and 12.2. Actually, 12. We could get lucky, and that's all we're hoping for. So we will wait at least one turn for these torpedoes to get closer to their target. Looks like our torpedoes are kind of on target, actually. So next turn they're going to hit, which means we have to fire this turn. And that's actually perfect, because we're lining up very nicely to engage the vanity. In fact, we are actually lining up with the possibility to sink the Gurkha as well. And let's just shoot for the moon and go for it. Why not? So, I guess we just launched two port torpedoes at the Gurkha. That's the first priority, obviously. They recommend 354. Yeah. We hit next turn, so basically, they're moving only 13 knots, so they were just, we don't have to lead them by very much. Probably this, and this will be fine. However, do we want to try to get the Gurkha? The problem is that once these are fired, 
the Gurkha is going to react to the other ships being destroyed. I think I'd rather um, save my torpedoes and see how the Gurkha is going to react. <laughs> so let's just fire those two. Oh, please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was very close. <laughs> All right, so let's keep moving five degrees that way. Flank, you're fine. And you can't do anything else. Okay, so they move a little bit. And now we get two hits on the Bandy. Cumberland? I don't know how many hits that was. Ah, the Cumberland's sinking. Okay, fantastic. So we we did our we did everything perfectly. Now we want to turn 15, maybe 20 degrees to starboard, and we need to react to the Gurkha. So let's hold fire for one turn and see what the Gurkha does. Okay, the Gurkha is moving like so. We have some ambulance outside. It looks like only one torpedo missed, so three hit. That's fantastic. Okay. So we want to keep moving flank speed at the Gurkha. I'm actually going to do 15 degrees, even 20 degrees, to try to get a better angle. And don't do anything yet. Okay, flank speed. Yeah, just keep moving your flank speed. Torpedo reloaded. That's fine. Doesn't matter. She is turning hard. Okay, the Gurkha, she's just over, she's just too far away. If we target her now, we're going to have to lead by a lot. And those shots are actually going to hit this ship, the freighter. So let's just hit done and react next turn, see what happens. Even if things just went the way they were right now, we'd be okay. We sunk two um, pretty good ships. Although, yeah, let's go ahead and it says 3,600 away. Hmm. Okay, so we need to lead them by, we need to go, uh, I wish I could find, okay, let's, we need to lead them by a little bit more. Just judging on this, they're going to possibly keep turning, so this is a good angle. I'm saying 4.2 is the angle, they're saying 9.9. .9. One of these things is not like the others, but we'll get a good spread. Probably gonna keep turning is my is the point. Okay. Cover all our bases by just firing in a pretty broad spread. Okay, so that's our I hope that that works. Okay, they're moving. I don't know if that's a hit or not. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, great. So we did well. Looks like their estimate of 10 or whatever it was was pretty accurate, so I could have led them by a little bit more. So at this point, we just disengage because we can sink the rest. Very good mission for us. We've been extremely dominant. It's uh, maybe it's time to start reconsidering this campaign, just because we're we're overwhelming them. Really, we've lost what? I mean, if we take a look at this again, they've only sunk two of our vessels. We've sunk twenty-five of theirs, and the two they sunk was I think one submarine and one destroyer. No, no, of course the loot out. How could how could I forget? So we're in really good shape, and uh, we've just sunk so many of their ships. <laughs> Look at this list. One, two, three heavy cruisers, one battleship, one battle cruiser, 
two carriers. I mean, this is atrocious. But that's okay. All right, so let's keep pushing on. We're into January. We only have three ticks out of the 20-ish that we need. Okay, our submarines are ready to get bombed by aircraft again. <laughs> that's okay. Make sure that we're doing okay on torpedoes. I thought somebody here... Okay, they have enough. Where was the engagement? Where was our last engagement? Was it here? Eh, 1718, they're doing okay. So, next. Alright, so we're fighting uh, again in the English Channel. Let's go for it. Alright, so let's see what the... They're moving right to left compared to... The U-64, right to left. So you're not in good shape to engage anybody. I mean, in the end, you're probably gonna end up engaging, engaging the Beagle and the U-65 takes out the Achilles. And we see what happens with the Ilex to try to uh, figure out a way to sink her as well. But if we just get the warships, we'll eventually nickel and dime the British, the Royal Navy out of this war. So I actually like our heading. Let's just go flank speed and move. And the, yeah, you have to do a really sharp turn. And I would say move flank just to make that turn a little bit faster. Start targeting the Achilles. I forgot to do that on the other one. But don't fire, actually you could fire torpedoes now. No, wait, one turn. Just give us one turn to line up a shot with the other group. And they're only moving 8.5 knots, so that's really good. So actually we need you to move you have to fire this turn, basically. <laughs> we can maybe wait one more turn over there, but that's about it. So, where are they moving? They're turning a little bit towards. Uh, we just don't have good enough firing information. We can't do anything. Okay, U turn 25, maybe even 30. That's good. And keep targeting the Achilles, but don't do anything. Another 10, maybe even 15 degrees. Now they're turning towards. Uh, it's so far away though. It's. I need to wait one more turn. I really do. If we're within 6,000, I think it saves us one extra turn that the torpedoes are gonna travel. So we'll go 10 at full speed. Okay, they're still turning. Uh, eventually they're gonna turn away. I'm gonna have to fire, you know? Okay. So flank speed, uh, five more degrees. All right, I think this is it. We have to launch now. 7.1 is the recommendation. That's good. That's a really good news. So even if they turn pretty sharply, this should hit. Let's try this. I'm really hoping that they don't turn too much more. But even if they do, I think some of these will hit. All right, that still means you have to wait a turn. <laughs> so go back to flank speed and continue exactly on this trajectory. All right, they're turning hard in. I think that still is good. Stop, 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 stop. Oh shit. We missed. Oh shit, we missed. Now, I think the torpedo, the destroyers would have seen those torpedoes if this was real life. I mean, three big bubbly things right in front of your... I mean, I'm sure they have a lookout. We probably get lucky in this game that that's not the case. Okay, do we fire the last torpedo? I think we have to. Now, knowing it's only going to take one turn to travel there, I'm going to short this one quite a bit. Mm 
basically right after the other ones. So it'll take one more turn for her to get there, but it should be enough. And you, again, have to wait one more turn. Hmm. They're still turning away this. So those might end up hitting something. I doubt it. Oh! Oh, and we sunk the beagle. Okay, great. So yes, now is definitely the time to act. Let's start lining up for the Ilex. 20 degrees, flank speed, move. And actually, we probably need to turn around to get our rear tubes engaged. Yeah, let's do that. So now let's move flank speed and just cut five degrees. I'm gonna just assume and hope that these hit immediately. I think it's at 3,000 that they hit immediately, so. We'll hedge our bets a little bit by leading slightly, but I'm obviously just going to hope that this hits and sinks them immediately. So, torpedoes away. And... Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, one or two, three of them hit? Three of them hit, I guess. And one didn't, so that's pretty funny. And they're airstriking us. Well, that's less than ideal. I guess they see us. Up, oh, up oh, there. Was that us? Oh boy. <laughs> there goes the U-65. Well, that's fair. If you're engaging people in the English Channel, you have to expect that. And we haven't lost too many ships, so we are not going to complain too much. Just our second submarine sunk. And we all know that the average lifespan of a of different various different uh, crewmen of them uh, a submarine crew was probably the least likely to survive in World War II. So, what does that leave us to do? Well, I don't know. Is this guy going to find us? Do we continue to try to whip around? I don't know. We can disengage, which means that probably there's no... They don't have a beat on us. Which means we might as well just fire a few more torpedoes. So let's just keep moving in the direction we're going. And let's see what happens. Hey, if the Illux comes after us, that's even better. I don't expect it, but... Maybe. She could have a sonar contact. How many torpedoes do we have? I'm not sure. We only have one torpedo loaded, so let's hope that changes very quickly. Yeah, they're headed right at us. I think what we can do is, if they're moving straight, we have very good information on them. Let's wait one more turn, I think. Moving exactly in our direction. Okay, we've got two torpedoes. We launch both those torpedoes and we flip around to try to launch any in the rear. Um, from the rear. Okay, so this is the turn where we move. We launch torpedoes on the advised path. They're advising 349. So let's do something like this and like this. See how that works out. We're just trusting the bearings that our spotters gave us. And they turned, so that's definitely going to miss. And they see us as well. So now we're in real trouble. I think we just drop down and disengage. You'd really be pushing your luck, I think, at this point to try, try to spin around and actually hit them. They probably even damaged us. No, they didn't. Okay, well. Ah, this would be so ballsy for us to try to get off torpedoes, but let's do it. Why not? I don't think we'll be turning fast enough. Here goes some more shots at us. 
Might have even damaged our submarine. Probably did. <clears throat> but it's all or nothing, right? If we can sink them, we get all the merchant ships with it. And for that reason, I'm excited about the possibility of actually sinking her. Yeah, we're just broadside to broadside now. That doesn't help. We're not turning fast enough. They might help us by actually <laughs> coming into range. Okay, that, that looks like it's going to do some damage. We'll have to check our pressure hull. Okay, those disappear, finally. How we doing? Pressure hull's a little bit damaged. And we're still pointed so far the wrong way. Oh my gosh. We need probably at least one more turn before we can fire. Okay, actually, we don't, we need, yeah, exactly one more turn. Okay, done. They're moving in, that's actually good. So if we survive that one, which we did, it looks like we'll be able to get off our torpedoes and hopefully sink her. Yeah, she's like right on top of us though. So this is do or die. <laughs> if we don't land this, we sink. Oh my god, I turned the wrong way. Oh my god. Well, remember what I said about do or die? God, I'm an idiot. Man, I'm such an idiot. These things happen. I actually missed. Is it better for us to dive or... No, I think they can still launch torpedoes. I mean, depth charges from... If you're at periscope depth. It might be better for us to just rise to the surface. Uh, I have no idea what the best thing to do is. Obviously, we're too close to get off... Okay, I think we just dive. This is just going to put us right under their path for depth charges perfectly, but uh, what choice do we have? Yeah, basically we're we're boned. All because of that stupid... There go the depth charges. I actually missed. Well, that's nice. Gives us one breath, final breath of life. The important thing here is, can we get far enough away? I think we can. We might be out of range. I don't know why I didn't dive further, that was stupid. Okay, here comes depth charges again. Nope, they didn't launch them. Huh. Well, you know what? Then screw you. I'm going to come back and hopefully blow you up. With a new lease on life, we uh, <laughs> once again throw caution to the wind, and let's go after him. She's moving away, okay. We get all the merchant ships if we can sink her. Okay, that's what we wanted to see, she's helping us out. Zoom out a little bit, okay. How far away is she? So, oh, that's perfect. Okay, so surface. 30 degrees, turn, flank speed, surface, move. Not something I would attempt in, for example, Silent Hunter 3, but... <laughs> I think we just got away with it. And I'm going to make this angle really short, because I want to make sure these hit on this turn. And we're launching everything. And there she goes. Perfect. Okay, wow. So we uh, somehow salvaged victory from the Jaws of Defeat, which was after we salvaged defeat from the Jaws of Victory, since we made that wrong turn to port, I mean to starboard instead of to port, because I'm an idiot. But hey, whatever. Unfortunately, we lost the U-65, and she was uh, one of our experienced ships, I believe. But that's okay. We got a lot done. Light cruiser, two destroyers, and a whole bunch of merchant ships. So we'll take it. And I think that'll call this episode to a close. Next turn, we next episode, we get to do some nice rating of a pretty 
unescorted, undefended merchant group. So this convoy is probably not long for this world. Well, stay tuned for that in the next episode. Until then, take care.